Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord God, be pleased to accept these gifts that we offer to you with humble and with contrite hearts. My sisters, my brothers, let us pray that this our sacrifice be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let us pray. <clears throat> Merciful Lord, we offer this gift of reconciliation so that you will forgive our sins and guide our wayward hearts. We make this prayer through Christ our our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. <coughs> Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. The suffering and death of your Son brought life to the whole world, moving our hearts to praise your glory. The power of the cross reveals your judgment on this world and the kingship of Christ crucified. We praise you, Lord, with all the angels and saints in their song of joy as we sing together. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, death he freely accepted. He took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread and this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love, together with Benedict our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, the bishops across Canada and this entire people of God. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to the arrest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. 
Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with Saint Basil, with the apostles and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. And so now we pray to God, our loving Father, in the words Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of this year church, and grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of Jesus be with you always. Let us share with one another a sign of this peace and friendship. 